Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. I am here to do a collective love energy read just for the collective general energies, okay? So this reading um, may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. It's just not your story, okay? Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. And if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you'd like to make a donation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description description box <laughs> and this channel is for adults only I always get tripped up on that I swear well sometimes I I can say it pretty well but it's like a, I get tongue-tied on it anyway okay with the energies that I got now remember roles can be reversed I'll call out the signs um, as I see them, but I, I, I get into the reading a lot, so sometimes I just sort of forget to do it, okay? Um, don't hold it against me. It's all about the energy and the messages, all right, peeps? Okay, let's get going. <laughs> um, well, the overall energy, I've got somebody who was at a crossroads had a choice to make between two to anything this can be um two two jobs two friends two hobbies you know um but in a love reading i see it as two people okay that this he, this guy had two people that he was very passionate about and he she it doesn't matter i'm just reading the images on the cards and the energies okay Take it however it resonates with you. Take what resonates and just toss what doesn't. All right? Good rule of thumb. <laughs> anyway, this person was at a crossroads at the twos. All right? And I'm seeing a lot of twos here. Um, so, but now he's made a decision. He's chosen something that he wants to take with him on this boat see this boat and down yonder here there's two of them they're coming in and he's waiting for those ships to come in as soon as they come in he's going to board those ships and go to the next part of the journey okay but for now this is somebody who has made a, a decision between two this has everything to do with the holy grail cup of love this is true love Okay, this is a brand new start in love, okay? Brand new fresh love or a brand new beginning in, in love, but this is, this is somebody who is in love here. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Um, you could also be dealing with an air sign, but this is a true love situation here, but um, it's in a stalemate energy, okay? People are not communicating, all right? Um, people are blindfolded here, C either can't see the other person's side or can't see a way to communicate. But somebody has to pick up a sword and cut something out here. I'm, I'm feeling choices, choices, choices. I really feel like somebody had a decision to make in regards to love like real love they had a decision to make but the stalemate energy kind of I'm really feeling like it sat for a really long time in stalemate no one communicating about it you know and you don't do that to like uh, the holy grail cup of love they, they somebody wants a new beginning in love like I said you could be dealing with an air sign they want to come in and start communicating now this person has something to say they pick up that sword and they clear the air they cut through bullshit this is somebody who was juggling they need to drop one of these pentacles to have a brand new beginning this somebody needs to drop one of these swords to have the clarity and the truth and the new beginning okay and the new beginning there's love here but you know here with the king of swords I always feel that this guy really is pretty cold I feel like his words at least are as cold and as, his tongue is as sharp as this blade 
all right? So the information may not be delivered in a softy, sweetie kind of way <laughs> with this uh, King of Swords here. But he definitely is like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this sword, right? Here's, there's two. Now somebody put one down. Now there's only one left, and he's gonna be the one to deliver the truth. But he's not. I'm really feeling like he's kind of like a man of steel right now, sort of. Not gonna take any crap. That's for sure. This is a person who will not put up with any bullshit. Okay. Um, this was a third party situation. Of course, we have choices here. We've got choices here. Here's another three, right? We've got a choice or something to cut out here. So you're not juggling two things anymore. All right. So that's three. This was a third party situation and people got heartbroken in it okay they they this person may be heartbroken as well i feel like everybody involved had their tears to shed okay it really stabbed people in the heart you know that's what i'm seeing but you know hey people watching we have seen this exact same scenario go on for at least the last year right oh and that's right here's the high priestess the the one who knows she's the keeper of the secrets for the higher font okay she works very closely with the higher font who is the pope in the deck that means the high priestess is very connected with the divine as well she's extremely spiritual and highly intuitive and if there are any secrets and she is the keeper she's she knows what they are already like I said, she's the most intuitive person in the deck, all right? Could be um, a Cancer or Gemini that you're dealing with, or you could be. Yeah, but I feel like even though this is a stalemate situation, this is a, this is a true love situation. This could be a brand new beginning in love situation, or could have been. This person knows all of that, okay? But they're perfectly still. The high priestess doesn't speak. This is a person who isn't talking. She's not talking. She doesn't need to. She already knows the information. She can feel it. She can sense everything coming. She, um, you know, this could be somebody who's very spiritual, spiritual healer. Um, yeah, she can sense all of this. She already knows, but she's, she's, she's comfortable with the, with the truth to the point where she doesn't have to speak. She just holds on to the truth. All right. The keeper of the secrets. Secrets are things that are unspoken, right? But they're still truth. She's the keeper of those secrets. She's, she's, she holds on to her own truth. Clarify the High Priestess, please. That's too many cards. Yeah, somebody is not getting any sleep at night. We've had this for a while, though, also. Um, up all night. Could be having nightmares. All of these swords here are thoughts. Um, they're all thoughts that they probably wish they could communicate, but aren't. Um, they're thoughts that they hold back from, and it, they, they don't stop stabbing this person. These are painful thoughts, things that they regret, okay? Mistakes that have made about this person here who is extremely strong, holding her head up high, once again being silent. This is strength, or this is this person trying to be strong trying to make it through the night with all of these thoughts. Either way, controlling with strength here, and you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, they're, they're able to control the beast of the situation and the beast within. Okay, that means they have full control over their emotions. Look at this person, completely confident. But that's a far cry from this person. See? 
I really feel like this is two separate people here and this person is all up in their head and late at night cannot sleep can't stop thinking about it having nightmares about someone who was very very strong standing in their power holding their head up high walking with grace right and self-respect and integrity and not giving a crap <laughs> You know what I mean? And this person's not talking. They're very, very quiet. Um, this is definitely, you know, a love situation here. This is the lover's card. You could be dealing with the Gemini, like I said. Um, but this is some. This is a love connection that's um, a soulmate connection, a, even deeper than that. This is a twin flame journey. Um, soulmate connection card okay the only real true one in the deck however you don't have to be on a twin flame soulmate journey okay you this could just be a really intense super intense very powerful soulmate connection to the point where you can feel each other's energy even though you're not around each other remember this is a stalemate so you guys aren't even speaking. It is true love though. This is a love connection and a strong one. And you know it, you can feel it, right? High Priestess, like I said, you can feel all of this, this person of strength and an intuition, being silent, wow. Um, I'm seeing Gemini, Cancer, I'm seeing Leo, um, Cancer, Pisces, and some Scorpio, um, air signs, Earth, Fire, really at this point it could be anybody, Gemini, did I say that already? Um, okay, what's the central focus? Ooh, I didn't flip one. Ah. The hangman, this came across here, the king of swords. It was just sitting there. King of swords and juggling, right? This is a person who juggled. This is a person who clearly needs to stand up, take that sword, pick it up, right? And cut one of these pentacles out so they can have an abundant new beginning. That abundant new beginning is not going to come until they freaking make a decision and cut one of them out. Okay, but this person here, because they've been juggling, they've also been losing. They've been losing. Like I said, they can't have a new abundant beginning until they stop juggling one of these. You can only have a brand new abundant beginning, a brand new start with the Ace of Pentacles. Only one is required. Okay. So this person here, possible air sign, right? Feeling all gruff and everything. They're feeling in this mood and they need to cut things out because they may be feeling pushed to do it. This person in the hanging man position, um, Pisces, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, they keep themselves in this position intentionally because it's easier for them to do absolutely nothing then it is for them to do something, okay? Like no matter how small, they're not gonna do it. They just wanna hang there in whatever energy they're in and just do nothing about anything else, okay? Meanwhile, while they're being stuck and keeping themselves in that energy, they start losing their pentacles. They start losing their abundance. It's just falling out of the pockets and this person doesn't want to put in any effort to the point where they could even reach for the pentacles, but they don't. It's almost like they just kind of, um, it's almost like a shutdown, but a shutdown that they enjoy being in. Okay, but meanwhile, they're losing stuff and they either don't notice or don't care. You know, but now, now somebody cares. This guy, he cares. <laughs> he cares to the point where he's really gruff about it, okay? All right, central focus. Underneath all of that, 
What's the central focus? Yeah, so I'm doing a little bit better calling out the signs, I think. That's pretty good. Central focus, please. Yep, the Empress. Of course the Empress right now is a central focus. This could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. Okay, but either way, just in case it's not, either way, um, this is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. She is a person who in the past, um, just like fairly recently in the past probably, um, was very underestimated. See, right now, in this dress, she's at the nines, but just before that, in the seven of pentacles, um, she was underestimated because she wore, like, the, these this worker uniform, and she was standing there waiting, waiting to reap a harvest on a crop that she had been building, okay, and working on, all right, um, and doting over okay growing all that pentacle now she's grown all of her pentacle and she has claimed this crop as her own okay the, these are all hers she is a single woman okay and now she went from that worker person who was just waiting to reap a harvest just standing there waiting to I've got my harvest I'm not, I don't wait. I, I wait for no one, okay? I'm not going to waste my time because I have all of this and I'm worth all of this and I always was. I just needed to change the dress. That's what this card always tells me. She was underestimated until she changed her dress and plucked off all of her, all of her pentacles and collected all of her pentacles yeah, they underestimated her. They can't anymore because she's bossed up to the Empress. No one can say boo about her. No one can say anything but great things. You know why? Because everyone can see she got it from her own hard work. From when they underestimated her. <laughs> That's right. This is a person who makes people eat their words. She's literally every queen rolled up in the deck. She's highly intuitive, just under um, the high priestess, okay? Connected to the divine. She's silent. She doesn't speak, just like the high priestess, okay? This person is not speaking, and this person has bossed up. She's gaining a lot of attention. She's collecting a lot of pentacles. She's changed her dress into something very pretty. She's probably completely glowed up. And maybe that's another reason why this, while they hung out and lost their pentacle, she was growing hers and collecting hers and doing it all on her own. Well, with the help of the divine, of course, we're never without their help. But this person sees that now after they lost their pentacles because they were juggling people. Right? They were juggling people too, too. This person too. And a third party situation. Yeah, it's no wonder they're probably in this kind of mood. Right? Because she is just paying attention to herself but she's not the only one who's paying attention to just her he's paying attention to just her and there's a I feel like there's a lot of people who can't help but look at the Empress right but let's find out clarify the nine of Pentacles what's going on with this Empress these days no, nope. passionate brand new beginning or like I said, she's somebody wants her. This can also be considered as the male phallic used in order to be intimate. Brand new beginning to brand new passionate beginning. 
here's an earth sign who's been checking her out um, another king so we have two kings now let's see oh and a wish was made for the, for the empress as well wishes there could be more this could be from a person who was juggling or still is juggling I'm not gonna take these cards because they were kind of flipped sort of on the deck but um, this is also somebody who could very well be holding back communication but yeah, so this person, this empress here, she's getting a lot of attention, like I said. But that's because she's the empress, that's why. You know what I mean? Yeah, somebody wants to come in and apologize. This is an apology to me. Someone wants to apologize. It could be either any of these people here. We've got a possible twin flame soulmate connection, and we have two kings. And we have somebody who made a wish, and we have all new beginnings here, really. Once, once somebody makes that decision, we've got all new beginnings. It's a new beginning. It's going to be clarity and a new honest beginning, right? It's going to be a new beginning in love. It's going to be a passionate, new, sexual beginning as well. Um, and it's going to be, we have all four, really, once somebody makes a decision. We have all four of them. This is all lined up to be the perfect new beginning. If somebody would just make a freaking decision. And communicate. Communication and something needs to be cut out. The air needs to be cleared. There's got to be communication. But you've got all, you have all four new beginnings here. Except for the fact that something needs to be cut out. Right? Yeah, this wish is still out here. Or, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. Sorry, I almost, I almost forgot that one. <laughs> yeah, you could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. This is like um, balancing out energies. This is a healing energy kind of card. Um, I'm seeing a lot going on with this round area here, which I associate with the moon phases. So you may want to check what moon phases are going on and the importance of the moon phases here with your sign. But this is, to me, it's always a wish. It's always a wish. Okay, that's always the first thing I always go to with this card is that it's a wish. Somebody made a wish. A wish for this empress. They, can, they see her worth now. They see her worth now. She all she always knew her worth because she had been working on all of these pentacles to begin with. She's like, okay, well, I got this going on. Like she always knew her worth. But they didn't they didn't see it. And they're wishing. They're wishing that I believe this person's wish is that the the apology here goes well that maybe the apology, they need to apologize for the broken, the hearts that they broke, the damage that they did from this third party situation and the backstabbing, okay? Um, and karma, perhaps they're losing so much here that they fully realize they need to try to make this right. I mean, they they know what this could have been, right? Because most of these were in the this recent past. They know what this could have been. You know, I'm feeling a lot of sexual energy off of this card, most definitely. This could be um, perhaps um, a manipulation tactic to try to have this new beginning. But in all actuality, the only real true way you can have a new beginning in this true love and new beginning in love and passion is to cut something out. There cannot be two. There must only be one. Aces. 
I didn't ask a question. I just want, okay, yeah. I didn't ask a question. I just wanted to see what was going on. This person is holding back communication. They're just, they're holding back. And, you know, as this person lies here, I really do feel like they're resting. Um, but I almost feel like this person is sweating. <laughs> okay, I feel like they're holding back communication. Um, one, they don't have as many pentacles. See how many pentacles they have? If they're coming in to communicate with this empress, they don't have as many pentacles as this empress does, number one. So they may feel like they're falling a little bit short, and they may feel like it's not, I feel like some timing is involved here, like they may want to, like they, this person's showing me, look, this is all the pentacles I have. They're not real happy about it. I really feel like that's part of the reason why they're holding back communication is because they may feel like their pentacle level is not adequate to yours okay however that's kind of low-key all right um i feel like they're sweating because of the communication they're i really feel like they're hoping and they're wishing right um they're hoping and they're wishing that you really will accept their apology well you know because they're worried about this communication that's the swords really stand for me a lot like communication okay even though there are thoughts I really feel like they're this person is really sweating over this communication and they're doing all they can to think about it this is think okay sorry this is thinking about it late at night you know, when they're up at night, right, and can't sleep because they're thinking about it. This is trying to rest, but still meditating on it. Okay, they're doing, this is holding back, holding back, but literally this is, it's, this is all popping out to me right here. Like they're showing me their pentacle. I don't have enough, I don't, we just got done talking about how much pentacles the empress has. And this person wants to come towards the Empress. Sure, they're a king, but she's the Empress now. You know what I mean? I think the communicating and the apology is what's got them complete, like sweating. I see this dude sweating. I don't know why, but I think he's sweating. And here we have the three swords. It, here they are. There's those three swords, third party situation they know they have to cut something out they're just they have the sword down they know they have to do it they're just like i don't i'm not ready yet i'm not ready yet i need to think about this i need to think i need to hang out and do nothing i need to i need to not talk about this quite yet i need to still meditate on this and you know what I mean, honestly, we do have this King of Pentacles here. Now, the, but the reason, the only reason I'm saying this, they could be just moving really slow. This is slow, stagnant kind of movement here, right? Just resting. This is complete stagnancy. This is complete stagnancy. And here we have an Earth sign, and Earth signs and Pentacles are very slow moving. They're the slowest ones in the deck. You know, I usually associate the slow movement with the Knight of Pentacles, but you know, even though a King of Pentacles, let's talk about Earth signs for a minute. They go through every scenario. They overthink everything to the point where it's like, well, I don't, I don't know how they can still keep standing. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's, it may take this person a while to come anyway, is what I'm saying. Anyway, they're just, they're stalling, they're nervous, they're sweating over this communication because they have to meet up with the Empress. Most intuitive, most intuitive. This energy blows a king clear out of the water. Of course they're sweating. You know, of course they're sweating. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to get the possible outcome with my flash deck. If you guys are new to my channel, I do read flash decks and my own um, homemade deck. So this is not unusual, okay? Don't diss the flash. I get a lot of info off the flash cards. All right, um, Divine, what is the possible outcome for this? This is too many. I'm not taking that many. Somebody's pissed off. This is regarding a soulmate connection. And someone here is, is angry, like really, really angry. Um, my mind goes back to that King of Swords, possible air sign, because he is really the only one in here who would be angry and gruff. Yeah, someone is just kind of, I see somebody hiding here. Hiding and kind of doing detective work. Wanting to shove something under the rug, though. Wanting that new beginning, but hiding it. Hiding the fact that they even want it, but yet at the same time, they could be, they could be watching you um, and hiding. But they really, really do want this new beginning. We have all the new beginning cards here. I showed them all to you, right? It's just the fact that these are new these could be new beginning cards too. They just need to cut something out. If they're if they need to cut something out, then clearly they still have this third party situation going on, okay? And people are getting really really freaking hurt. And they know that. They know they have to make a decision, but you know, this this is it. Making a decision. Overall energy. Making a decision and then clearly coming with an offer. But slowly, because this is an earth sign, right? An offer, maybe a beginning of friendship, some kind of start to communication. Yeah, with somebody from their past, okay? But here's the thing. I think this person is already in a commitment. I think this person is already in commitment. That's why they do want this new beginning, but they're hiding it. It's under the rug. They're hiding it because they haven't quite made that decision yet. They want to. They want to ride in fast and hot. You, the, you could be a cancer or they could be a cancer. Um, but th this is their happiness. They want to come towards their happiness, but they're bound in a situation that no longer serves them anymore. They're bound in a commitment. But person watching, you already know this. You already know all of that. You can feel it. You can sense it. And you're intuitive. You already know. You could be a Gemini too as well. And you were the one that was stabbed all over the place and brought down. Yeah, but you can feel all of this going on behind the scenes and you're keeping your mouth shut. Especially if there's devil energy around because you're actually connected to the divine. Yeah, you could be a cancer. Sorry, I'm really, I'm really, really freaking messy. And I'm messing up all of your cards, too. Okay, um, either you or someone else is teaming up with a friend for what? For what? What is the friendship card here for? These kids could either, this could either be a good thing or a bad thing. That's why it could either be scheming together or just having fun times together. But we're going to find out. Clarify the friendship. Yeah, this is a toxic thing. Okay, so there's two people here, and I'm seeing girls. It doesn't have to be, but that may resonate with somebody, okay? Could be women. Feminine energy, okay? And this is something that's toxic. Yeah, sure, this looks like the perfect apple, but let me tell you, this is Snow White's poisoned apple, okay? This is something that's toxic. 
there's two people here working as a team, whether it's male energy or feminine energy, okay? There's two friends here teaming up, working as a team to create like a toxic... I want to use this. A toxic what? Why is the apple here and the friends? Yeah, when I, it's almost like when I dig out my homemade decks and the flashcards, shit starts getting freaking real, right? Yeah, okay. Going down a dark tunnel, these people are, these people going down a dark tunnel. So they're spiraling right now. Someone here, one of these people, one of them, one of these people here is spiraling down a dark tunnel like a rabbit hole okay like but it's dark so this person slipping into a darkened state where there could be a lot of devil energy involved okay not good not good stuff like jealousy and um like vengeful they may want to get they may be seeking revenge kind of thing okay they're they're going right into a dark space and they're bringing a friend in with them to do something toxic to somebody the divine is trying to reach out and give clarity to the situation like they're breaking these rules Something's not right. The divine card, the divine is trying to stop this. Yes, and it could be with somebody who's just been helpful and just always been helpful. This is a this is a person here who would this person would do anything to help this person. Okay? Um, has been loyal, has been kind, has been sweet, has been giving, has been nurturing, has really been good to this person. But this person is dropping a fr This person says, hey, hey, I know you'll help me again. Do me one more favor, right? Let me see if you'll do this. Stand underneath this boulder and just catch it for me. Okay? Right? That's... These people here are the ones dropping a boulder on this person. This is a, they're going to try to do some kind of freaking plan to hurt somebody here. And it's a toxic plan. And the divine is protecting and trying to remind people of the commandments, you know. I mean, they're not they're not they need to learn they need to learn some lessons the divine has a hand in this yeah i'm just feeling the divine has a hand in this and is being protective but somebody is out to sabotage or hurt or do something very, very toxic to somebody else here. I'm feeling it's, um, I'm actually feeling that it is feminine energy because my cards don't normally lie to me. I feel like it's feminine energy. I feel like somebody has freaked out over a situation. Um, she is sticking out underneath all of this still she's overseeing it i feel like this could have been a commitment a committed person she right underneath her is that one sword here sticking out for clarity i feel like this could be the person that has been cut out see she was like this and here's that brand new sword here's that one pentacle i feel like she's been cut out and now because of that, she's spiraling down a dark tunnel, okay, of emotion. And it's um, not a good place to be in the headspace. Do you see what I'm saying? So she's teaming up with a friend, scheming, perhaps planning, plotting something with revenge attached to it because this is a toxic poisoned apple. 
sabotaging someone who had good intentions or at least trying to really hurt them but they've done nothing but good things and that's why they're being protected by the divine this person could very well get their karma for that they should probably talk to god <laughs> i don't know what else to say they need to, they need to they need to check in with god before they do anything like this do you see what i'm saying do you see they're teaming up with somebody and God's not having it. He's sending his hand right straight down. No, no. Let me remind you. Let me remind you of my word. Yeah. He's looking out for you. I feel like there's protection here. What else can you show us, Divine? Yay! And you're going to know. You're going to feel it. I think you already know. And because of your faith, um, that's like a celebration. You're going to see things happening. He's going to make things. I guess he can't. He can't do anything about someone's free will. But he can show you what happens as an after effect to someone's free will. If they don't have good intentions. Okay, and I think it's going to really surprise you. I think it's going to make you really happy. I think you're going to feel very free because you know that the divine is protecting you. I think something is coming and you're going to feel really, really happy. I feel like... I feel like two things are coming. I feel like a, a crazy plan to hurt someone is coming, but that is going to be blocked by the divine's hand. That's blocked by the divine so that you can experience something really, really good. So something good is coming too, okay? The bad thing I feel is going to be blocked by the divine. What else can you show us, divine? This is almost it, guys. I think I've made enough of a mess. I don't know how you guys deal with me like on a regular basis. I have to get better about that, but this is just how I read. I really don't... Okay. Ooh, I never noticed this card before, and I made this deck. I've never gotten this card out before. Yeah, somebody wants to attack. Um, this might be hard to see, okay? I hope you guys can see it. Here's this big boulder. This is just a rock. Here's a fox and he's ready to pounce. Here's a tiny little bird in the corner. See the bird? Looks like it has a broken wing. It looks helpless. It looks like it's not gonna harm anybody, completely harmless. This, this fox is ready to attack. That's, that's these people here are, are gonna be ready to attack because I really feel like this is the person who got cut out or is going to get cut out going to get cut out this is stuff that hasn't happened yet this is your possible outcome okay see it's an attack but but god stops it i'm telling you look oh i love it when they do that <laughs> Oh, I freaking love it when they do that. Look, look. <laughs> they protect, they protect, they protect. He's saying, no, no, no. Here's the hand coming down again. Let me remind you of my word. They're going to, this person, that's what they're going to, they're going to completely block these two from doing anything to you. And here's the river and stream so that you can go to calmer waters and follow that. When you follow this current, you're following your destiny. Yeah. And you're going to be so freaking happy. And they're going to completely block this stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I have to stop now. <laughs> 
I have to stop now because you know what? I can't get a better ending to this reading than the divine coming out twice, blocking evil plans and and attacks. They just they created a wall. I just I love them. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen, I hope that resonated with someone, okay? Um, if you like the video, like I said, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. We're not going to hurt you here. <laughs> All right? So, anywho, listen, um, un until we meet again, right? Peace out. <laughs>